Welcome back to Train Signal Citrix Zenap Training. You're watching the course scenario lesson. All right, so every Train Signal course has a scenario. We at Train Signal believe that scenario-based training, scenario-based approach enhances the learning experience because it helps you relate. It helps you um, understand that, look, we're trying to build something around a real-world problem. This is not just, you know, sit down, study, and and figure it out on your own. No, we're trying to address some company's needs. What we're going to do during this course is you and I, we're going to have this relationship of a, a mentor-apprentice approach where you're going to help me and I'm going to help you design and deploy the finest Citrix Zen App 6 environment out there. And we're going to help my customer and your company, Encom, in delivering these services to its community of customers, its users. So what is the scenario for this course? You have Encom. Encom is a world leader in software development, game development company. Encom is headquartered out of Santa Clara, California. And they have a development presence, obviously, in Santa Clara, but also in India, China, and Australia. So their development efforts are spread out worldwide. They have about 400 developers, and these developers are employees because almost every one of their employees is a developer. But these developers, if we can call them, are spread out in the form of 200 in the U.S. and about 200 international. Encom has a need to centralize its development efforts and grant offshore developers remote secure access. So the way they have it configured today is they're in a decentralized model. They have file servers and different types of servers, domain controls, exchange servers, etc. in different parts of the world. Now, Encom has come to the realization that, yeah, this is not working for us. We want to be able to centralize our source code. We want to be able to secure it. We want to be able to centralize our development efforts so that all the users, regardless of location, can connect to the same server class hardware that we're building in our data center and have access to the same applications, have access to the same performance of WAN links, etc., etc., and do all of their development on the same hardware platform. Encom doesn't want to necessarily have to deal with issues and, and rules and regulations in different countries on how to export its source code and, and files and folders. So what they've decided they want is, hey, we want to be able to centralize everything here so that we avoid all of those issues. Users should be able to connect. And we want to give these users, because they're developers, the flexibility of connecting anywhere, anytime, over any device using any connection. So tablets are going to work, iPads, iPhones, Atrixes, Whatever mobile device is out there should gain access to this environment. Encom is a bleeding edge technology company, so we have to give the developers within bleeding edge technology as well. We can't just sell it, we have to adopt it and embrace it as well internally. So Encom's current environment looks something like this. So they have Active Directory, DNS, DHCP, etc., etc. They have VMware vSphere 4.1 from a virtual infrastructure standpoint, and they're 90% virtualized. They're a Cisco shop when it comes to networking. They have IBM and HP Blades um, across for their compute resources. They have a Hitachi VSP SAN for fiber channel, etc., etc. So they're very, very well equipped with bleeding edge technology when it comes to the hardware, the infrastructure. Encom is also currently in a decentralized model with a file server located in each one of their sites. All internet connectivity is routed through the local site at this point. Source code is saved in Santa Clara, but is constantly uploaded. So different copies of this source code for the different projects that are going on exists at the different sites within Encom, and we are trying to avoid that. So what is Encom Zenap 6 project phases? How are we going to approach the implementation of Zenap 6 at Encom. So phase one, what we're going to do is we're going to install Zenap 6. We're going to make sure licensing is working. We're going to deploy the access gateway and make sure that you know remote secure access has been granted. We're also going to configure the web interface so that local or WAN users can connect to a web page and launch applications that way if they needed to. Phase two, we're going to move into configuration. So we're going to configure published applications, streamed applications. We're going to publish content. We're going to publish desktops. 
we're going to take care of all aspects of applications and address applications of different sizes and different requirements differently. We're going to take a look at content as well, streaming, etc. We're going to take a look at all of those and we're going to configure mobile device access using the access gateway. Now phase three is deployment. How are we going to connect users to this new environment? We're also going to take a look at, well, how do we, do we administer users? Now one of our jobs, me and you, is going to be to do a knowledge transfer. I'm going to do a knowledge transfer from me to you so that when the deployment is done, when the environment is done, you can administer this environment. And in turn, you're going to do this knowledge transfer to your colleagues. So phase three is going to deal with fine tuning the environment, with managing the environment, with administering the environment. But a large portion of phase three is going to do with knowledge transfer because I'm going to transfer all the knowledge that we've done during this implementation on to you so that you can then spread it among your colleagues, whether it's help desk or architects and engineers in your environment. I hope this lesson was informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.